ask me at six. Yo, <laughs> what's good, y'all? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Big Grizz. And we're back with another segment of Smoke. We're back with another episode of Smoke Sessions with Grizz, man. We got a special guest. Before I introduce her, make sure y'all grab your lighters, your blunts, your bongs, your papers. Um, yeah, what else? Backwoods, your, your swishers. What am I missing? Your Dutchies, whatever, Dutchies, whatever, whatever you, you smoke with. Make sure you grab that shit, stuff that shit, lick that shit, and smoke that shit. And yeah, we're gonna get started, man. Got to the left of me, man. Tell who. Go ahead, introduce yourself for the first. <laughs> this is the first black woman entrepreneur that we're bringing on a podcast, man. Super honored for this guest. I've been knowing her since fucking high school, so you know what I'm saying. And honestly, haven't seen her since then. So this is like down there, like a reunion I swear it is. type shit. So go ahead, introduce. I don't know who we got on the podcast. <laughs> Tell them. Okay, so my name's Kiara. Um. I'm not very known at all, so you probably don't know me, probably never heard of me. Very much low key, very chill, very to myself. Key key. Very about my business, so yeah, but key. I'm here today. And tell them what you do and tell them about your. Well, first, yeah, tell them, yeah, tell them what you do and then. We go talk about the bread, then talk about the day, but yeah, I gotta, I know right. how I want to do this one, so, so just, yeah, do that. <laughs> basically, I have my own clothing brand, as you can see, Raw Verse, so I have, <laughs> I have that there, and I guess you could say I'm low-key a photographer, low-key a stylist, like, low-key making all this shit for real <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> making everything for my brand talk so, to him talk yeah, to him yeah you can call me all that for real for real if you want to okay so first so you said you got the clothing bear right so first i want you to talk about the day man how you came up with the day man you know how you honestly wanted to you know have your own line and just have your own brand and shit talk about yes. that so this brand has been in the making for like uh like years like honestly like three years it took me three, three years. years to really create this like when it started it literally started in my bedroom at my grandma's house mm -hmm. i i work a lot like you know me in high school i was constantly working mm -hmm. i was there's never a time when i wasn't working yes, so sir. i was i'm tired of clocking in on people's clocks like i need I need to work for me. Like I'm tired of working for other people, making people money, and I'm not seeing shit. Uh -huh. So that's where the brand came from. The name came from my mentor that I had when I um, I used to write. Well, I still write, but I write poetry. Me too. And so there was like a little um, class that they had at Carnegie Mellon. It's called it was called Arts Greenhouse, and uh -huh. it was for if you wrote, did poetry, music, all that. Carnegie Mellon gave us access to their studio and all that, so you know, state of the art shit for mm -hmm. real. So my mentor there, he was like, yeah, you know, you got some raw verses when you write your poetry, you write your emotions out. So I was like, okay, we're gonna call it raw verse. <laughs> Based off my poetry, so that's where the name came from. That's where that whole idea came from. My sister, my sister, she went through the whole process with me. Like I was literally in my room like, do this sound right? Do this sound right? What about this? What about this? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stick with this. I like this. It's mm -hmm. real simple, real cute. And I feel like it's catchy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So what made you want to do it? Basically, like I said before, just not wanting to be on nobody else's clock. But also, in high school, <laughs> I was a very shy kid. Like, it's still even still now very mm -hmm. much shy but i don't know i was just very low-key very background mm -hmm. not that outgoing like if you knew me you knew me if you didn't you didn't mm -hmm. so this brand was a way for me to like low-key force myself out there put myself out there and just be my true authentic self not giving a fuck what anybody gotta say about me what anybody gotta say about whatever mm -hmm. pertaining to me so that's what made me want to do it just basically just taking a stand like mm -hmm. it's nothing wrong with being yourself you could be yourself mm -hmm. and that's all you need to fucking be to yeah, be that's honest that's <laughs> like, verse that's fire 
So what? So you started out. What did you start out with first? Hoodies or shirts or? I started out. With which you have one right now. My we? hoodie. Yes. Yeah, so this is the hoodie. We got six and different colors. And she got colors. some samples too. But we going. Weird. Yeah, we're getting that today. Don't <laughs> step out of time. Relax. We got y'all. I know y'all want to see them. Calm down. So we got. Yeah, I started with hoodies. Hoodies was my first, first, first thing. I was gonna start with shirts, but. At the time when the season came around, summer was just now ending, so it was getting into winter. So I was like, "Perfect, yeah, perfect hoodies, for hoodies." No point to get shirts. Yeah. Swear, there's everybody's no wearing hoodies at all. I'm so. not gonna lie, I even wear hoodies in the summer, like. Exactly. So I'm like, okay, hoodie, that's cool, that's great. So I got, at first, I only started with one sample. So I got one sample, and then I figured out my colorway uh -huh. for what I wanted. And once I did that, I was like, all right, I need to order five more samples see how they hold up i literally tested the shit out of these <laughs> like they're thick as hell like mm -hmm. low-key you can't tell but there's a hole <laughs> on this no, I one tell it's, i can tell it's thick i could, I could yeah tell. like there's a hole in this one and it, light didn't, hoodie. it didn't yeah it didn't burn through none of that washed it to make sure everything like i'm not gonna sell nothing that's not of quality or that i would not wear myself put that's that just not the rager. I no, like that. yeah for real I like, like you gotta test out your shit before you just go out I here like selling that. to people because I sell you some bullshit that fall back on my name. Mm -hmm. Nah, hell no. It ain't finna be bashing no, me. No, hell no. Oh, hell no. Roberts, you done sent me a hoodie. Swear to God. Like, my as soon as I put this motherfucker on it, lose his head. <laughs> my writing coming off. Like, oh, hell no. No, no, no. Yeah. We're not with none of that. So I had I went through a lot of samples. Like I went through a lot of samples with these hoodies, with like sweatpants, with everything. Mm -hmm. But I was like, hoodies is I'ma just start with one item and focus on one item. I'm not gonna try to overwhelm myself with just starting out. Mm -hmm. I, that, that wouldn't be smart for me. So I was like, I'ma just start with this and we're gonna see where it goes. So it's going good. It's going good. So you started with Go testing ahead. about mm -hmm. and went from there. Yeah, you gotta test it out. You know, have people wear it, see how to fit. Like mm -hmm. if the, cause when you order clothes, most of the time you're probably ordering samples from like China or somewhere, and they sizes be different. I ain't think about that. Damn, you put me on this some shit with my shit. Go ahead. That's why I'm saying I'm just soaking what you told me. Like I'm like, damn. Go ahead. No, for real, their sizes be different. Like you really gotta ask sometimes. Like, is this American or is this Asian size? Because you know we're two different sizes than what they are over in China and all that. Yeah, and we're bigger over here. Like so, that was an issue with these hoodies. Where I was like, okay, we gotta figure this out because. The sizing ain't right, so I had to go through, figure that out, and once that was figured out, I was able to go ahead and just order it in bulk. Then, mm. swear. <laughs> mm. So, and do you have like different versions? No, not different. Like, like let's say, cause you know how this one's like written on. So, do you have like an embroidery one? I see. So Are you messing with that. Talk yes. about that. Yes. So I don't have anything with embroidery yet because oh, trying to get samples, especially with embroidery samples period are expensive but for things like embroidery and like say you wanted to get what's it called embossing like mm -hmm. where the letters press out mm -hmm. of the clothing that shit is not cheap at all so i bought myself an embroidery machine and i was like i'm gonna do this myself i'm gonna figure it out you myself. Yourself a I swear I bought an embroidery machine right off of well, Facebook Marketplace. Out, Smoke sessions with Chris. <laughs> you probably on my ass right now. Go ahead. So you bought your own embroidery machine. Yep. I bought my I went on Facebook Marketplace. I've been researching embroidery machines for so long. Because I was like, you know, it's smart to cut the middleman out. So all I gotta do is order the blanks at this mm -hmm. point. I don't gotta order it pre-made. I can order a blank sample and do what I need to do myself. So I was like, okay, so first it started with the screen printing. So like I bought a cricket. So I got Leah. I got a lot of shit. <laughs> I bought a I cricket. Let's say you got a whole little warehouse. So. No, for real. Like my room, oh, it look a mess right now. <laughs> 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 but I bought a cricket because with cricket you can do a lot of you can do a lot of shit with that little machine. Yeah, I had one. Like I fucked with that so heavy. Yes. So I was and like I had the big one, so I could measure the little one. Yeah, though. you could do iron on, you can make postcards, you could anything. Like you could do a lot with that. So I was like, okay, let me get this cricket. And then it went from the cricket to the embroidery machine. I was mm -hmm. like, I wanna learn how to do this shit myself That's because right. I don't have to I don't then don't have to go through nobody. I'm my own supplier. 
I'm my own person. I'm the one making a design. So yeah, so I'm, I figured that out. And let me tell you, that was a task. Oh my God, to figure that out. Damn, I was on set I'm pretty sure. Like, you listen, you gotta learn how to digitize images and and all that because an embroidery machine doesn't just take a regular file it takes like a pes file so i gotta mm. digitize my photo in the little software then put it on a hard drive and from the hard drive it goes mm. to the embroidery machine and boom That's <laughs> process mm -hmm. mm. it was a long ass process but it's fun though like for me yeah, learning stuff like that. that is fun like i was I, there was a lot of trial and errors. Like I have a lot of shit. I was like, Ooh, no, 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 this don't look right. But I finally got a design <clears throat> down, and I got into the stitching and stuff that I like to where there's no gaps and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I might be coming next <laughs> on like some t-shirts. So yeah, we I was might have say some where you feel like you are. You feel like you you almost like a pro at it yet? Or no, I'm definitely not a pro. I'm definitely the beginner. There's a lot of shit that I still need to figure out, that I still need to learn. Mm -hmm. Especially with the software, like it's a free software, but there's so much that you can do in it. Mm -hmm. So I be on YouTube constantly. Oh, hey, was, Always. YouTube is the best friend, bro. Yeah, no, for real. Like YouTube <laughs> is the reason I know how to do a lot of shit. Like if it wasn't for YouTube, I would have probably been buying shit out of the ass, spending so much money but learning how to do the shit yourself you just save yourself so much money so much time mm -hmm. you don't gotta wait for like shipping process and all that like you don't gotta do nothing all i gotta do is order the fucking blank shit and put it on myself do That's it myself fire. you cut out the middle bed no for real and i don't mind doing that like stuff like that is soothing to me mm -hmm. like i be chilling i literally be in my crib watching netflix making whatever it is that i'm making <laughs> yeah, I was, that's less of a headache because you ain't gotta go nowhere you ain't yeah it's all right there mm -hmm. you just turn over and do it you said <laughs> it's in your room like Literally, it's, right. it's in my room like right now i got a cricket an embroidery machine and i got a sewing machine and that's the last thing i gotta learn how to do is sew. once so, i learn how to sew i can start making my own literally start making my own shit buying right. fabrics making shirts hoodies whatever it is that i want to make and then i <laughs> fully fully cut out the middleman now i don't gotta talk to the people in china and order the blanks mm -hmm. i'm making my own blanks then i'm putting my shit on my blanks that's so right. you know that's my shit so that's that's the that's where we're headed towards that's where you come so yeah. I, I know you told me earlier you got a pop-up shop tomorrow talk about that and where it's gonna be at let yeah. them know because this is gonna be dropping tonight okay. like this is coming out tonight so so we got a pop-up shop if you are in the Pittsburgh area even if you're not come out support there's gonna be a whole bunch of small businesses you know and it's never like why wouldn't you want to support a small business you want to support these corporations maybe support these small businesses like okay. we need the money not them fuck them <laughs> Like, come on. Goofy. Like, it's going to be in Squirrel Hill. The address is 1918 Murray Avenue. So, 1918 Murray Avenue. Mm -hmm. So, if you're in the area, come out. We're going to have food. There's a food vendor there. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. I know you don't like food, man. You know, want to eat, man. Like, come on. Who don't want to eat? Eat, so shop. Come buy on. Buy reverse. I need to go. Yeah. Mm. Like, come through purchase you a hoodie like and when i say there's going to be a lot of vendors there's a lot of vendors and there's a lot of versatile vendors like mm. there's vendors with clothes home like lifestyle type of things there's even vendors with like the resin them clear like resin projects mm -hmm. there's vendors like that there That's so fine. you're going to get a little variety when you're coming out so yeah like come on and support out. period Pop out. all right no, for now real. It's time. Show the merchandise. Show what you got. You know what I'm saying? Show them. Show them, show them, them flavors. Okay. Them flavors. Let me show. So the flavors. The first one we got, this the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, this one is called, this color is called coffee. And, you know, like I said before, these hoodies are really thick. They're really warm. Like, right now, it's probably like, what, 50 outside mm -hmm. right now? And this is all I wore. I don't need no other jacket, none of that. Comfy. Yeah, and they're real comfortable. They're real <coughs> soft. Like, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not no hard, no, like, it's not no cheap hoodie. Yeah. And, like, it's a comfortable hoodie. Quality. That's and I wear a lot of hoodies. 
So mm -hmm. I know what I like, what I don't like, and I feel like I know. I just know like what people would want you in a hoodie. Wear hoodies, damn near your whole life. <laughs> you know it, like yeah, like oh, yeah. this job's not right. So a hey, fabric is super wrong with exactly, this. Exactly, like, exactly. You know there's something wrong with hoodie. And with this, it was like it was good. There was nothing wrong with it. It was warm. Mm -hmm. Like, and the biggest thing for me is just the like it was just quality. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't tearing. The seams weren't falling out. Like. It was quality. Even after I washed it, quality it didn't shrink. Didn't do none of that. The perfect so, hoodie. The perfect hoodie. Swear. That is chocolate. Yeah, this is coffee. Coffee. Oh, I said chocolates. <laughs> Almost. It's, I mean, shit. Almost. You could call chocolate. it chocolate. Like, you come know, on. You know, chocolate. It look good on the melanin skin. Dark chocolate, baby. You know, Period. like, like milk or something. <laughs> I'm weak. It look good on the skin though. Like for my melanin girls, period. Get you some brown. Like uh, you know, we look mm -hmm. fire in it. But also brown got, on brown. No, for real. Like what, what, can't go wrong. You what's, know what's better. Brown on brown. <laughs> <laughs> but we also got different colors. We have six different colors right now. Six. I'm wearing this. I bought three more. Mm -hmm. So this color we have this color right like, here. That's the, like purple. This like lavender. Yeah. So this color I call fire. it. I call it rogue because I don't know what like it's like a purple, pink, that and gray mixed together. Yeah, that's, like that's fire. I don't know if it's hitting <laughs> on camera. I, it probably won't. Well, it like, never hit right. It, no, it probably this is crazy. When I edit this, I'll show you what it looked like. Yeah, show me. It's going. It's like yeah, Ooh. that's fire. But yeah, so and all the hoodies are going to have like raw verse right here. So it says rear form at the top. It says raw verse and it says established in 2021 because that's officially when I bought the LLC, when I officially yeah. became a business. That's hers. Like, don't so, can take that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I officially became a business. So they'll all have this. And it's like in a very deep, like wine Shut red type of color. So. Yeah, so this is that one. So we got that. And this one, I, I only sold out in this one. Like in mediums, we're sold out. We don't have any more mediums. Yeah, so we only got small, large, extra large oh, in that I'm color. Just, I'm just crazy. That color is crazy. Don't sleep on that color. Uh, no, not at all. This one's my second favorite color. The so green. we got forest right here. Indeed. We got forest. What's the hood? <laughs> and it's, it's it's literally like a deep forest green yes. again with the wine red, and you can see this real good on camera. This shit is yeah, so popping. fire, like this color is fire. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got this on all sizes. My brother like green. I swear it's fire, like it. They go like most of these colors go with a lot of shit. Besides the road color, you might have to dibble and dabble you to find something See, with that's that. That's why I like that one because that but, one you really gotta get your bag. No, for, for real, that one. like you gotta dibble and dabble. You gotta go crazy. <laughs> you can't do that regular <laughs> shit with that one. You can't at all, at all. So then we got this this one. Uh, these two colors together remind me of the Hennessy label. Oh yeah. Like okay. you, you pick you in it. Cream, yeah, yeah, cream with the brown. Cream, yeah, cream. <laughs> but we got the cream <laughs> here. And this one, I would say this one and the rogue are like our best sellers. Mm -hmm. These colors. I think people just really gravitate towards this color. I gravitate towards this cream with the red. This shit's fire. Yeah, like it's right. just fire as hell. So yeah. That cream is nice. It's so nice. And then like you could get like come on, you get you get get your boyfriend the cream. You get the brown baby. Y'all could be mm -hmm. Hennessy, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me Hennessy. <laughs> no, for real, literally me Hennessy literally. and you. Quit playing. <laughs> like quit playing. And we got two other colors. So I don't have them with me, but we have black and mm -hmm. then we have a gray. But the gray has like it's a purplish undertone to the gray, so it's like a purplish type of gray. It's real pretty real pretty and the the red it's real subtle but it like pops like you just gotta wear you something a red that hoodie? Pop. no i need to oh, wear a red hoodie. yeah they need, need your, I was, that's, that's my <laughs> next question so do you plan on doing like the main like primary colors like blue red green like is that coming so, next uh it is the blue and red are definitely coming because those are colors that people have actually been asking about like do you have red do you have blue those are the two most common colors that I've been getting asked about. So those are definitely getting worked on. Like I have a, I have a sample sweatsuit for girls. Mm -hmm. It's like a stack sweatsuit with a crop hoodie, and it's red. It's super fire. It's so comfortable. Mm -hmm. So comfortable. So I got that for girls. It's the men. Trying to get sent for men, it's kind of hard, cause like y'all are simple at the same yeah. time, but it's like men won't wear basic shit. Mm -mm. 
so you gotta like the stuff for men i'm really really deep diving because i want this shit to be some shit that, be perfect yeah yeah like i want it to be some shit that they would when you step out you pop out you feel you know you feel confident yeah, as a, like a female yeah, feel confident in her yeah. shit you feel like you the nigga in your shit like mm -hmm. period so the men i'd be having to really deep dive and like really like see what's really what's trending with men's style mm -hmm. what's what's people doing but even then not following the trend because i don't want i don't want my brand to be based off of what's popping mm -hmm. i want my shit to be different mm -hmm. like i'm in, like yeah this is what's trending but this is what we doing right over here mm -hmm. like we ain't doing that we doing this <laughs> like, like if you feeling this come with this but if you feeling that that's cool too or you feeling both do both mm -hmm. like but i i don't know i just want my shit to be really different i don't want it to be just your Oh, another clothing brand. Like, mm, nah, yeah, this is gonna be yeah. top notch. I want this shit to stand out to last. Yeah, real shit. Like, it'd be Damn some shit that's, like, different. Bro. Like, fucking, fuck, if Kanye West can have niggas out here wearing holes and shirts looking hungless as hell, right, why can't well, I? Why, like, yeah. like okay, you cool put plan. This shit first <laughs> plan. Like, quit the plan. But, um, <laughs> let them know what's, what you got coming. I mean, we know you got the, um, you got the pop up shop tomorrow, but yeah. what's what? Cause I'm gonna have you on here like between the end. Cause this is the first part of the interview, so we gonna have you back like probably December or some shit. Pretty so good. what could they look on look forward to for then? Like, so for them right now, I'm actually <laughs> working on my spring collection and okay. working on stuff that I want for that. I've been working on it for a long time. Spring collection, mm -hmm. you fire. know, spring summer's coming up South and. Fire. I just I'm really working on getting pieces that are different and of quality like that's my big thing I mm -hmm. want them to firstly be of quality but I also want them to stand out in a way that's like oh shit what's that like mm -hmm. oh shit where she get that that's hard mm -hmm. like you stop and you it stops you like yeah. oh okay where you get yeah, that from that's, that's what, what I'm trying is. to have I'm trying to have it them pop out be some different. stoppers them yeah them oh yeah no nah, real shit like I'm about like when I tell you I'm about to really do everything myself I'm mm -hmm. about to really do everything myself I'm really about to buy a whole t-shirt press so I can start press pressing it. doing the press ons and mm. learn it I don't oh, I want to say I know how to screw print a little bit not really, but also doing that doing too. For years, bro. Like, <laughs> I, like I, I can stop doing it and still know how to do. Like you yeah. know, that's just one. I've been doing. I did it so much that I already know what to do. Yeah. Like just to see somebody do it one time, and then I, I was all I would need. Like I love doing that shit. But. See, I be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I be so I confused so sometimes. I be like, I like screen print. Ah. I don't know, but we're definitely going to work with the press mm -hmm. on, with the t-shirt press, At because press. I want to try some, um, some puff, some puff iron on, um, vinyl. Mm. I want to see how that, how that looks. So, just seeing somebody do like a TikTok or some shit with that. Yeah, see, so we're about to, we're about to figure out how that looks, and yeah, mm. so we got a lot coming with spring, and that's, mm. I got a lot for dudes in particular uh, because so yeah. Males, yeah like y'all just wear fucking t-shirts pants and shoes need that heat. but I, mean, I don't know i wear <laughs> i don't know i do i, I, I do wear pants, that but you know shoes, you gotta mix it up too you know like so yeah but i got i got something coming for the females but the dudes i'm focusing on the dudes right now because mm -hmm. i want i want to have like a good variety like i know for a female i'm a female so i know what other females were like i can see mm -hmm. what other females like what's the female trends it's easy but mm -hmm. we were so we were and we wear a lot of shit mm -hmm. so it's like yeah, yeah, there's yeah. not nothing that we can't wear for real y'all don't throw y'all wear nigga shit too like, exactly exactly <laughs> exactly so <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing everything. focusing on the dudes right now and seeing what what's in what's not working what could work what 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 people would wear what they wouldn't like you know type shit so yeah it's coming it's together so cool. though. Mm -hmm. It's coming together. I'm excited. Like I'm super excited. Are we ready to stay tuned? <laughs> all right, before we get out of here, tell them all your social media where they can follow the brand, buy the clothes, and your personal account as well. All that stuff. In the website <laughs> too. Don't you have a website, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell yeah. Them see, look, I made the website myself too. So tell them on that. Like so, the Instagram. And well, damn there, everything is raw verse clothing on Instagram, Facebook, R A W V E R S E 
Clothing. Clothing. Yes, on TikTok. Case for those who can't spell, you know. <laughs> My personal Instagram is Kiara Lynn with like seven N's. Yeah, it's, if you find the business page, I'm tagged in it. If you find the business page, I'm tagged in the bio. I couldn't get my just the two ends. Yeah. I had to add the all the ends. So yes, <laughs> and then the website is literally the same thing. It's rawverseclothing.co.co, not .com. .co. It's co. That's it. And yeah, so you'll be brought right right to the shop, right to the site, and yeah. just click shop, and all of them will pop up for you right there. Yeah, make sure y'all cop, go support, man. Yes, please support. Go support. Like I said, we'll be having her on here again. <laughs> So just be on the lookout. So we're I'm excited to come back. Definitely gotta get you back on. We're gonna talk about everything. The men. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have <laughs> the men's this spring. We're gonna have yes. everything. Y'all just be ready. But appreciate you for coming through. Yes, I thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> yeah, man. We on the road to 10K and we out of here, man. Big grace.